What's going on YouTube? My name is ADC Art Attack. His name is Bob. And today, my art dream comes true. I was sent 100 random things by Jazza to create something that'll blow his mind. What? Oh my god. Holy shit. What did you use? I'm so excited right now. <laughs> I'm collaborating with Jazza. If you don't know Jazza, it's okay. He's only like the best artist on YouTube and I highly suggest if you don't know who he is or if you do know who he is, go watch his videos. There'll be some links down below. But enough about that. What are we doing today? Some time ago, okay a long time ago, me and Jezza jumped on a call and we organized a collaboration with each other where we would send each other 100 random items in a box with a letter. And the purpose here is that neither of us know what items the other person has packed with the other person. This could be the most chaotic, stressful, yet awesome video ever. And I do hope you all enjoy it. One last thing before we begin, this is a two part video. This is my part, Jazz's part is on his channel. So be sure to go check out his video after this one. Or before, after, after. I am so excited for this, let's go. Well, let me see how the audio is. Testing one, two, seven. Where are you going? Come back! <laughs> oh no! Run! Get the train, get the train, get the train, get the train! I'm on the train! Train number three? Ooh, which colour? Blue, green, or gold? Gold. Mm. This will do. Oh wait, let's find Jazza. There he is. Do you see him? Where are we? <laughs> there we are. That's where we are. <laughs> Good luck. My precious. <laughs> Text him all. How do I get down? I don't know what to do. That could get dangerous. Okay. I don't know. Motorbike always happens to come whenever you start recording. It's a motorbike or a car. Hi guys, we just left the art store. We just got kicked out, but we got some stuff. We got things that we need for the Jazza collaboration. Uh, anything, anything to add to that? No. I don't, I don't know. I just put there. So um, yeah, we're heading back to the house now, and we're gonna unpack it all, have a look at what we got, pack it up again and then ship it all out to Australia. To jazz. To jazz. <laughs> Let's do this. Everything in this box nya is what we bought today. Now, if you do want to see the contents of this box, you're going to have to go over to Jazz's video and check that out because we got a lot of exciting things, but I don't want to spoil it for you here. So go and watch that video. I'll, I'll put stuff, places down below in the description and you can go see his video. Now this box is not complete without this here. This is a super secret letter to Jazza and inside this letter is a short story that he is gonna have to base his artwork off of to complete it using everything that we miss. This. this. So let's drop this inside this package and I guess we're just gonna have to wait for Jazza's box. This is a good day. Love it. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, okay, no. So, here it is. The, no, okay. So, what? Sorry. <laughs> there. It smells like Jazza. So here it is, the box. The box that Jazza has sent us all the way from Australia. Now I can't wait to open this thing. I can't wait to find out what he has packed for me inside this, this package for me today. So we're gonna open this up right now, see what is inside of it and do that. Yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing? That is terrible. Why am I doing that? I'm gonna stop doing that. That was so cool. Thank you. 
is a hair. Okay. The hell? <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of bubble wrap. Did he give me? He gave me paper. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> well, if there's no paper in his box, he better figure something out. So, first things first, it's just color paper. It's color paper. A lot of color paper. There is so much colored paper. One, two, three, four, five. Does that count as an item? Can this? What is this? Oh, is that the art supply? I don't know. I don't know. Paragraph. What the fuck is this toilet paper? It's used toilet paper! What has he done? Oh, look, you've got a face mask in there as well. He's just taking care of you. Hello, Jazza. Oh, I need some of this. Mm -hmm. This is Max Bond PVA glue, Chinese white acrylic paint, and it looks like Sienna. Translucent finish. These slick sheets are an excellent. What? How am I gonna use all of this for a video? Uh, there's a black glove, glitter, an eraser, another eraser. Do I have to use all of this? Give me a knife. <laughs> you, you call that a knife? It's called a carving knife. He's given you anything to carve. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> bricks. Okay, I've got carving bricks. What were these doing laying around your cupboard? You can't see anything out of these. There's a lot of touch markers in here. I wanted to buy these. High performance permanent marker. You remember when we were in the art store and we were picking up loads of random junk and we were like, we thought we were there. yeah, we were going to put them in. We were going to put the most random stuff in, but then we were nice. We said, no, we're going to buy him really nice stuff. He got me that. <laughs> didn't even buy anything. He just threw <laughs> random stuff in this box. Wait, does that count? I keep looking at that, but I can't see anything. I don't even know if I'm on camera. Okay, so before we go any further with this, I think we should read the note and find out exactly what it is we've got to do with all of this stuff. And yeah, the cup. Oh, that wasn't graceful. So let's go. Dear ACDC, ADC Art Attack, AKA Anthony. I hope you have fun making something memorable with these 100 items from my art supply collection and trash. As far as what you might make, here's a little inspiration. An unlikely hero finds herself searching for answers in an unlikely place. Little did she know, the answer was inside her all along. Literally. It was literally inside her. Have fun, good luck, Jazza. Okay, so as we begin, the first thing I want to do is figure out this unlikely hero. Who are they? What are they? What are they doing? Stuff. So what I'll do is three different hairstyles and three different facial expressions. But in the back of my mind, I have that one statement, the unlikely hero. So what is it that makes an unlikely hero? Well, many of the superheroes that we see in fiction are young, they're fit, they're healthy, they're sexy, they're very energetic, they're very strong. So I guess an unlikely hero is gonna be old? Hmm. It's a shame there aren't more superhero-y oldie people. They're really cool. And so with the facial expression and the hairstyle chosen, it was time to begin doing the body. However, the body that I'm creating right here is designed to hide something very, very special. So unfortunately, I cannot show you too much of this process. You're gonna have to wait until the end of the video to see the behind the scenes of this one, how I created it and what it is I'm gonna be creating. What an awful sound. Cutting styrofoam is probably the worst experience of my life. It is awful. And what I'm doing here is carving a base for I don't know what just yet. But this stuff is like really, really messy and fun. But mostly it's, it's really messy. It's gonna take me like a year to clean all of this. 
Ah, it's all on my floor. This is only step one. Uh oh. Okay, so next up is to create a base for this platform thing that we're doing. And I figured let's use the carving blocks for this because I don't really know what else I'm going to do with them. And I'm using the scissors. Yeah, bricks. What do you do with bricks other than stack them like a child? That <laughs> didn't go well. This is the worst masking tape ever. Seriously, this is taking me a very long time to get this tape off. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> ah! That was a bit too much. Spread. How long do I have to stay like this? <laughs> Press surfaces together for five minutes and clamp tightly. I guess I've done that. For a minimum of two hours. Two hours! Two, what? So it was time to color the base and I, for some reason, chose to use markers and thought that would be a great idea to color the styrofoam. Spoiler alert. It wasn't. So the markers I received actually didn't have much ink. Some of them didn't work at all, and some of them had very, very low ink. But that problem aside, this was a terribly terrible idea, and for some reason, I didn't stop. When it was done, it still looked bad. So I figured the next best thing to attempt would be paper mache. We had glue, we have a cup, Now we have water and we have colored card. Now I've not done paper mache since I was a very, very young boy. And I didn't know that it doesn't work with card. So doing this was yet again another bad idea. Oh yeah, when I was done with ruining this, I remembered that paper mache works really well with toilet roll. And luckily, Jezza gave us toilet roll. So it was essentially time to start over anew. So I paper mache over the entire thing. It's all right now. So now all I've got to do is figure out how I'm going to color the paper mache. Oh. Ah, okay, problem here. So, yeah, there's a grid all over the screen. We totally forgot that we were recording our screen and it captured the grid, so that wasn't good. But anyway, what I'm doing right here is building a waterfall using the blue card. And I figured it would be really cool to make some texture to this waterfall by peeling back the individual layers of the paper and revealing just some different stuff. And then I stuck stuff on top of this stuff and it's looking pretty good. So this part right here is the last part with a grid on the screen. I do apologize once again for that, but there is no way I would be leaving this bit out of the video. Basically, what I'm doing here is shaving down two of the pencils that were supplied by Jazza, the only two green pencils. And so this little pile of shaved pencils is going to come in handy later on. But for now, we're going to move it to the side and get on with something else. From this moment on, the idea I have in mind right now is a sort of scenery uh, inspired by Japanese culture. I'm a big fan of Naruto. So that's kind of what I'm going to do here. Make some bamboo. Gluing this stuff down, really difficult. Also, I came up with this wicked cool idea of using the masking tape to hold it down while it dried. Turned out the masking tape could be used to create a really cool effect on the bamboo. Ah? Huh? But we ain't done yet. I wanted to add even more to the bamboo, so I figured let's put some leaves on there as well. Just something to make it better. And it really did. Back to the waterfall, it was time to begin adding some details using the paints that we had and just applying some kind of textured effects and... Ayo! My dog just... <laughs> so yes, it was finally time to start adding some final touches to the waterfall using some white paint and some glue. But now is the moment of truth. Remember all of those hours I spent shaving down those two pencils into a fine powder? Well, here's the payoff. I am so grateful for all of the mistakes I made leading up to this, using markers, then moving on to paper mache to try and get a base. Without those mistakes, I would never have thought of shaving down two pencils to create grass. I am so excited. I am so happy with the results of this so far. We are seeing it come to life before our very eyes. I can't wait to see what this looks like at the end. This is all so new to me and I am just really, as we put this together, I am so excited. But there is still so much more work to do. So, coming off the back of my 200 IQ pencil shaving grass method, 
I figured why stop there? What I'm attempting to do right here is to create plants using this wooden block. Now, I would strongly recommend that if you do try this at home, do not carve towards yourself like I am because you will get cut. Something that did happen to me. But the reason I'm doing it like this is I want to get some stems for my plants, but at the same time, I need to get some curves. Now, you can see the technique I'm using right here. It is achieving those nice curved sort of stroked stick things, and they are going to work very nicely. All I gotta do is slap a little bit of green on them, and they're basically ready to go. And you stab them in the holes. This was made, by the way, by using a stick, wrapping some cardboard around it, dipping it in glue, and just pulling it to pieces to make it nice and fuzzy. And there we have it. Okay, so this has taken a while. This is a very long project. In fact, it's taken so long, we have decided Christmas is to come early. So there's the tree. We've got the tree up already, and well, there's Bob. Bob is getting into the spirit too. Say hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. <laughs> yeah, we're nearly done though. Let's continue. So next up, it was time to return back to the paper mache. But first, one thing that has been bugging me was the underneath. I didn't like that we could see straight through it. So what I've done here is used one of the black sheets of paper that we got from Jazza to just cover it up really. And it worked. So back to the mache, we're going to be making some rocks to go over the styrofoam and color this white area because it just looks horrendous and I really didn't have this plan set in mind. I didn't actually have any plan. So hopefully this goes well. It's a really good thing that we got so much paper from Jazza because this brown paper doesn't really require much extra work. So that should make this a relatively easy task. And I know I said I was done with the waterfall, but I got this bit of packaging from one of the papers and figured let's put it to some use and create a somewhat realistic waterfall effect by layering over. It looks okay. And as suspected, the rocks look fantastic without any special effects applied to them. But I do have the burnt sienna oil paint that Jazza supplied us, plus the white acrylic. So why not put them to some use and just add a bit more detail to these rocks? So the final part here is to create the water at the base of the waterfall. And keeping in line with things that we've already done, I'm going to be creating some plants using a similar method to what I did with the carving block. Only this time I'll be using green card. But of course, me being me, I have to go one step beyond, and I, this is, even me watching this back, I'm just, what was I thinking? For some reason, I figured the best thing to do here would be to slice it very finely and separate the individual sheets of the card to create plants. I'm actually kind of impressed. When we stick it down, oh yeah, I did lily pads as well. I had to use tissue to hold it all together because it was just no way of me sticking these very thin pieces of card to the base. But it actually works out really well because it looks like the water is kind of crashing or mixing around the base, which actually looks pretty good. Oh, and this little bit? Yeah. This was a genius idea of my wife's. We were given what I think is an airbrush air tube thing. And I couldn't for the life of me think about how I was going to use this for this piece. My wife suggested, why not cut off the end and use it as a sort of sewage pipe? And I thought that was brilliant. But I'm not going to stick it just yet. I'm going to do that at the end. So as we approach the end of this project, it is time for the background. And the background itself is going to be a generic background. Just a landscape, a sunset landscape that will really bring this piece together that we've worked on here today. Unfortunately, many of the supplies we were given didn't have any inks or had very low ink, as you can see. So I'm going to have to use some techniques to make these inks last or to give an illusion of more work being done, such as using dots to create trees. The main tree itself is going to be the only thing on this background that has any texture to sort of give a little bit of a depth to it. As a way of easing us in from our foreground piece to the background, I think it's going to add a nice illusion. And of course, we're going to finish up with the paper mache because I don't like this stuff. I don't like getting my hands messy, but hey, this is for Jazza and I've just got to go that extra mile. But with all of that being said and done, the piece is finished and it is time to show Jazza. Well, here we are. Here we are. Um, I've been nervous about this, Anthony, I'm going to be honest, uh, because... <laughs> You sent me a wide variety of wonderful art supplies. And I sent you a box of trash. Yeah. 
<laughs> I've never felt so loved. Um, really? Yeah. yeah <laughs> no, um, okay. This is, <laughs> th- yeah, this was the most... We had the complete opposite sort of mindsets here. I think you yeah. packed yourself in a box, and I packed myself <laughs> in a box. It was. I just... think that's the best. <laughs> yes, yes, that is the perfect way of putting it. Pure, yeah, pure chaos. And <laughs> I, I think you're gonna like what I did. I think you're gonna be surprised that I was that what I did. That you did something. My artwork is an apology ah. to you. <laughs> for, for, I, I have aged a I opened, my, I opened my box on camera and then I looked back at what I sent you and had an existential crisis. I was like, what have I done? Shall we start off with my reveal? Do you mind if I share it with yes, you? Yes, please. It's, uh... Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? I, I'm a little... <laughs> I'm a little taken. That is that is amazing. I'm a little shocked well, that you were able to do that. That's it's mainly amazing because you actually sent me really cool stuff. We do have a little problem with me showing you mine now. Uh oh, what's that? Is it? Are you like expressing anger? <laughs> well, I'm shocked that you did that, and I'm about to show you. Nah, I'm kidding. All right, this come is, on, let's so go. This is in two parts. I can't just show you it immediately because one of the pieces okay. is movable. So I got to be all right cautious here. So okay, all right. I'll show it up on camera first, so we're coming over. What? Oh, oh my God. So... What? <laughs> Holy shit. We've got a sculpture. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> what did you use? Everything. Where is the chaos? Everything. <laughs> Whoa. There's more. <laughs> it goes, more goes to this. So then the character, the story was, I believe, um, so there was a, there was a, an, oh, what was it? A, what was the story? It was a, un, unusual an unusual hero, an unexpected hero was looking, mm. searching for answers in an un, sort of different place. But the secret was inside of her the entire time, literally. Yeah. So we built, we got a little woman in Jazza yeah. style. Yeah. She goes right here. If she yeah. sits, does she sit? Sit. She sits right there. And then you packed us yeah. some red stuff. Okay. So when you put it over her, oh, she fell over. Let me show you. Inside of her is a dog. Without and then oh, with. Oh, with the red. And then it reveals a little puppy inside of her because she was a dog the entire time. Oh so it, it was an unexpected hero. And the answer is literally inside of her. You have blown my mind. But I am so I I bow to you. <laughs> this was in this is amazing. Talk me through the environment a bit. The background like what is where? Give me the worst things I sent you and where they ended up. Where's the Ooh. coffee cup? Okay, the the cup. The cup was a supply to hold supplies. Okay. <laughs> now I used the cup. I used the cup. I disinfected water. it. I it didn't look it. I'll start with this somewhat simplistic stuff, which was the bamboo yeah. and the flowers, which were just uh, rolling up pieces of cardboard, uh, wrapping the green paper around, painting it with the oil and uh, sort of gluing it all down, masking tape to create some of the straps. And uh, the waterfall was actually quite fun. Blue paper and the clear, uh, it was a clear sheet of something, a sort of clear wrapping sheet. Um, yeah. Loads of tissue for the waves and the sort of ripples of the water. But the base, the green base, I'm not sure if you can see exactly what's going on there. You packed me some pencils and I couldn't figure out how I was going to use them. So... You did not. I took did the pencil, like... I took it out of its casing, I took it out of the wood and I used the, car- the carving knife to shave it completely for about two and a half, three hours to create <laughs> a fine powder that I could use for grass. Oh my god, um, that's amazing. This was easily the most challenging thing I've ever done. Oh, and you've got the carving blocks at the back uh, behind us They're or for down, the support. Yeah. So yeah. Oh my god, I am so amazed. You're a friggin' legend. This that's is- so cool. And obviously in the background is markers, which is your jam. Some of it. So there's paints, Markers and paints. Markers mixed with paints. There's actually a sheet of paper. This is actually a separate sheet of paper using the brown paper you gave me which is the horizon line, is actually glued onto ah, there. Ah, that's so cool. Because I ran out Dude. of markers. <laughs> this is a little dedication to you. I, I mean, I couldn't do anything to, I couldn't find a way to put you in there, so I figured I would build it 
for you. You do miniatures, so I figured let's do a miniature <laughs> build, and this would yeah. sort of do it. I, I, my mind is blown. This was so much fun, but also like you just blew my expectations out of the water. I feel, I felt so bad, but you know what? The plan was always to push you to your limits oh, to man. create something truly profound, which you did. Oh. So you passed the test. Congratulations. I don't know, man. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Man. It was amazing. This was awesome. This was a <laughs> big once in a lifetime experience. I absolutely loved it. This is once? What? Oh. Once what? in a lifetime? Ooh. You wanna do it again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, he doesn't learn his lessons. <laughs> Jazza, thank you so much for just giving me this opportunity. This was absolutely amazing. And what you created was just astounding. Mind blowing. I never expected anything like that. And I got drawn by Jazza, which is just amazing. I've been a massive fan for so long. Having the opportunity to finally work with you is just, that is in itself massive for me. And guys, if you, you don't know Jazza, which you do, uh, but if you don't, Go, go watch. Uh, I'll put some links down below in the description and make sure you please do check out his video because it is insane what he has done with the bunch of stuff he was graciously given by me. <laughs> really high quality art supplies, man. You, you sent me really cool stuff and I sent you a box of trash and you made a masterpiece. I, I think the ground was not even you. You, you 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 smashed it no 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 <laughs> we, we are both winners here today yeah, i think that was, was fun this was the this was awesome this was the best it was. this is the best this is it it's it's ah. <laughs> <laughs> guys thanks so much man thank you jazza guys thank you so much for watching the video today uh, if you are new around here consider subscribing and liking and uh, of course please do check out jazza's video it is absolutely amazing the things he has done are out of this world so please go check it out go subscribe go say hi and um that's about it bye